Today we have a very exciting panel uh, lined up this morning on the rise of alternative data in institutional investing. Uh, it's a growing trend uh, of a growing market among some sophisticated investors for data that goes beyond traditional measurement uh, like stock price history. Um, so again, you know, feel free to add your questions to the mobile app um, at CB Insights and hashtag future fintech. So let's start with a quote from one of our panelists today, uh, Matthew Grenade. At point 72, you know, investing isn't just about earnings estimates and 10Ks. It's about satellite imagery, sensors, mobile devices. The more you can process those things, the more edge you'll have. Um, and obviously, one of the biggest trends enabling this is just the rise of data overall due to low-cost sensors, mobile phones, uh, relevant data to institutional investors coming from IoT devices, social media posts, digital pictures, news media, uh, and purchase, tra purchase transaction records, uh, among others. Um, so all of this is creating sort of a growing sense um, of opportunity around generating alpha from these alternative data sets. Um, here you see a landscape of startups who are both generating some of these new data sets uh, as well as helping to make sense and analyze them, um, companies across different spaces that we'll get into in a bit, um, including credit card transactions, uh, transactional data, um, and you know, being able to understand consumer behavior through this data set and, and also merchant performance. You see one application of this applied to grocery store performance, uh, data on reach, repeat purchase behavior here from a startup in New York called Earnest Research, uh, recently laid out in a blog post um, by one of their investors, Graycroft Partners. Uh, you see satellite imagery sort of enter the discussion uh, in the investing space to help investors really understand sort of what's happening on the ground. Um, you see sort of one use case here applied by Orbital Insight. So a Sequoia Capital backed startup in Silicon Valley, which is selling analysis of satellite images of cornfields uh, to predict how crops will shape up. Um, and also using aerial images to identify, for example, uh, the number of cars in in-store parking lots for insights into customer foot traffic uh, and retail sales. Social media mining, another area uh, where investors are looking to gain real-time sort of sentiment and event-driven insights about what's happening in the world. Um, you see a quote here uh, from Paul Hahn, who's a par uh, founder at a Cayman Islands-based hedge fund. Uh, Our systems can analyze a tweet in less than a second from the moment a person tweets. Analyzing untapped and unstructured data sets, such as Twitter, gives us a distinct advantage over other investment managers. You see here one of the breaking news alerts from a startup here in New York called Data Miner, um, specifically around Home Depot's credit card breach. Um, and you see how that sort of reflects uh, within sort of the, the stock price after that uh, that report, that breach w uh, report was, uh, was went public and also sort of when the alert happened. Um, and then, you know, to, to the point of our panel today on foot traffic analysis, um, grateful to have uh, Foursquare here to, to chat a little bit more about the work they're doing. But one of the sort of most public displays of this happening, we're seeing uh, Foursquare, which recently blogged about um, sort of a prediction around AAA earnings uh, using their foot traffic data and then sort of the, the pretty, pretty close um, comparison to the actual earnings and, and, and you see sort of what happened afterwards. Uh, Foursquare is doing this in other ways as well, uh, including iPhone sales and expect uh, Jeff to talk a little bit more about what they plan to look at next. Um, so some questions that the panel will be looking at and that, that are open. Um, you know, when the rules change, how do you maintain the supply when the rules and access can change very quickly? You see some of the recent media mentions there on Data Miner and Twitter and others. Um, will there be sort of big venture-backed businesses whose sole sort of goal around this is, is alternative data um, and, and providing this new an analysis for institutional investors? Um, and what are the sort of the next data sets uh, of the future that will, you know, waiting to be tapped and potentially generating um, returns for institutional investors?